I grew up in Bridgeport. Both my parents are immigrants from South America. My mom's from Ecuador and my dad's from Chile. I grew up in a pretty typical immigrant home. We didn't have much money, but we always believed that the key to success in this country was an education. And so my parents really instilled that belief in us. I entered Central Magnet High School in 1998 and was very successful academically. I graduated four years later in the top 2% of my class and was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to a prestigious college, Boston University. I left Bridgeport as one of the top students in the district, but when I arrived at Boston University, I came to the harsh realization that I was just average. I remember getting my first English paper back and receiving a C. I remember very strikingly my college professor telling me that my work was, quote, mediocre and in need of major improvement. I had been a straight-A student at Central, so it was devastating. I began to wonder why I had done so well in high school, but was now struggling to keep up with my peers in college, peers who were clearly much more prepared than I was. My years in college helped me realize that the issues I was facing weren't just unique to me or to my friends from Bridgeport. This is a problem affecting millions of low-income children across the country, and I wanted to do something about it. So I became a teacher. I joined Teach for America in 2006 and became a teacher in one of the worst school districts in the country, Los Angeles Unified. And despite the fact that I was 3,000 miles away from Bridgeport, a lot of the issues I faced as a student here resurfaced when I was a teacher in East Los Angeles. As a teacher, I came to realize that there are so many things I can't change in my students' lives. I can't change the fact that their parents work three jobs and rarely spend any time with them. I can't change the fact that they have to walk past gang members every day on their way home from school. And I can't change the fact that they had the misfortune of being born into a zip code mired in poverty. But what I can change and what I can make sure of is that I provide them with a high quality education that I hold them to the same high standards that their peers in West LA and Beverly Hills are held to. So that one day, they're able to lead a successful life because they have a college education and they have a job and they've broken the cycle of poverty for their families. Years later, I see the same problems in Bridgeport that I saw 10 years ago as a student and five years ago as a teacher. The achievement gap between affluent children and poor children is one of the greatest challenges our country faces today, but one that I know as a community we can solve together. I came back to Bridgeport because I love this city, and I believe that a community united behind a common goal can accomplish anything. Together, we can do what's right for children. I'm Maria Zambrano, and I'm the Executive Director of Excel Bridgeport. We're building a movement for better schools and brighter futures. Join us.